The views and opinions expressed in this podcast by the host and or the guest do not necessarily reflect the views of the host and or Paranormal Buzz Radio and or its sponsors. Use of any material produced by Paranormal Buzz Radio without express written consent is prohibited. Paranormal Buzz Radio will not be held responsible for you holding your knees, crying and rocking in a corner in a puddle of your own urine, or being beheaded by a group of children in a cornfield. In fact, if you come across a group of children in a cornfield, we promise to make fun of you as you run away screaming in terror. Listener discretion is advised. The Cryptid Files is a weekly discussion and debate covering all things cryptid. Mysterious and terrifying creatures are our passion. Join us each week as we bring you groundbreaking interviews and accounts, info from research in the field, as well as data and experiences of our own. From the widely known cryptids to the most strange and obscure, we want to believe. Do you? Cryptid Files. I'm John. I'm Cindy, and we are your hosts for the show. I hope everybody's having a good Saturday night. That's right. It is Saturday night. I hope you caught the paranormal stance. I hope you did. If you didn't, it's okay. Catch that. Yeah, it was, it was all right. Yep. Yep. It's almost as good as catching COVID. What? Ooh. Ouch. Gee. Stop that. Yeah, it's not nice. It's not that's, nice. That's not nice. It's not. What De- the heck? Definitely not nice. Where did that come from? Uh, it was a ouchie. It's your fault. But to those people that have, I know my buddy Darren has caught it. Uh, sorry, dude. I hope you and your family get better. I do too. I, it stinks that that um, came back positive. But yeah. That's okay. Our prayers are with you, bud. So um, we're going to keep this totally not politics. So yes. if anybody decides... They want to speak it. Uh, they can go somewhere else and on a political show yes, and talk about it. There are many it. other political platforms. Fran, what's up? Hey, Fran. What's going on? We love you, Fran. Yeah, we do. We definitely do. We've so, missed you. So tonight we're discussing do's and don'ts while trying to find the hide and seek champion of the world. That's right. That's right. Bigfoot. Yes. Um. We're yeah. This is gonna be a good one pretty good show we also want to like we did in the last show on paranormal we you too friend we did we want to welcome um what's his name one of our newest members the other one's not here yet Just and saying. he will be though well he's gonna he's gonna he's drop in yeah. yes so um we want to introduce jonathan, jonathan. to the show well, big country jj right, with big, the ak that's right <laughs> <laughs> Big country. He is one of our members, and he is a very great member. Um, as you guys know, we do have we we're dual purpose. Yes. Um, unexplained. Multi talented. Yes, we are. So we we do cryptid and we do paranormal. So mm-hmm. we're uh, training these guys this week, and we have been um, going to a certain spot for training and just walking through and, and stuff. We had an experience. Man, we we decided last night. That what we were going to do is get the um, the new guys together, and John and I were going to take them out and um, on a leash. Yeah, on a leash. Yes, <laughs> and uh, kind of you know show them the ropes a little bit, show them what we do when we're and what to investigating, expect, what not to do. Yes, so blah blah blah. So that's what we did, and it was quite an interesting night. Yes, it was. We were in a spot that we have visited many times, mm-hmm. but we have not yeah, gone we, that far. Yeah, we never went to the extent of going as far as we did last night. Yes, we were about five and a half, almost six miles in. Yeah, from from the from, from the road. From the check-in station. From not the check-in a, station. And that's not even really a road. It's a dirt road. Yeah, we, we drove, what, about four and a half miles in, Yeah, give or take, and yeah. we walked the other mile. You know, it, yep. it, it was we did. it was really interesting. It was super interesting. But well, actually, we went in. We parked three miles in, and we hiked two more miles in. Two well, and whatever. Half, I was two just, and a half more miles yeah, in. So okay. something like that. We were back there, and and when we finally got to the end of the road, which we never thought was going to end, it was actually <laughs> really pretty out there. Even at night, we were on the back side of the mountain. You could see the mountain in front of you. Mm-hmm. It was pretty cool. Well, we were down on a holler, and there was a, there was water coming down. It was just, it was really, it was cool. really cool. It was super, super awesome. And um, 
it, it was interesting. I mean, the Very. whole night we were out there. We we're out there about oh my gosh, three, four hours, three or four hours, four hours, four hours. And man, it was one heck of a four hours, wasn't it? Yep. I mean, well, do we want to get into what we're talking about first, and then Let's save this for the end? Yeah, because then we can kind of, okay. um, you know, like use it in a relatable sense okay. to our night so, last night. Jonathan, I'm going to put you on the spot since you're the new guy. Why don't you go ahead and say hello to everybody out there? It's just Fran right now. Fran is a is a fellow Yankee, fellow Bostonian. So I yes, want you to say hi to Fran. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, um, what do you know about do's and don'ts? Because we haven't really gotten into it with you, but I want to see what you know. What, what what do you think some of the do's and don'ts are about? Bigfoot hunt. What don't you do? What do you do? Yeah, we, let's start. You look, definitely don't run. That's it. No, see, that's look that's at him. number one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but don't run. Yeah, definitely don't run. Ever. I mean, for for any predator, because they're just going to chase you. Yeah, and it's going to make matters worse. And our big thing is when we're out there is don't run. As in, don't get spooked because you like heard a, a rock or yeah. A, an acorn right and run away like screaming with your hands in the air bah, you know so what do you think some of the do's are john um. <laughs> wow you need to quiet down over there yeah peanut gallery don't don't listen to her if you, if you don't know up. it's okay you, you, you no, I, say. I have no idea all right so well, some of the things we did last night that we're, you... Were do's. Yeah, yeah. we're do's. You know how we, we kind of stayed in the line, one person in the front, one mm-hmm. person in the back, and everybody else was in the middle. Um, you know, we, we really kind of uh, trained them a little bit on structures. Yeah. Um, and things to look for with that and not to. So one of the do's for structures would be Yes, like, we did, Fran. Um, you know, do try to um narrow it down to okay maybe that couldn't happen naturally and also do go up to it if you can and look and see what's rooted in the ground yeah, and definitely stick together nothing less than two people you know yes that's a do try not to go by yourself and don't think that every tree that's fallen down is that's a don't is like oh my gosh bigfoot has been busy because if there's like a major wind it's gonna um do the same thing so you have to know what to look for uh when you're talking about structures and things like we were talking to jonathan and justin about um as far as structures uh there are some typical structures and one of them of course everybody knows is the x or the asterisk uh let's see the tp yep the tp structure um the uh, oh awesome we got our next guy coming in and also the like um, trees, the root balls up in the air, and it's stuck yeah. down. We like we saw several um, sticks yesterday that were just stuck in the ground in the middle of the road. Yep, in the middle of the road, we're, there were several. Remember the one we saw on the side when we were driving out mm-hmm. in the truck? So we saw several. It was pretty freaking cool. Um, I mean, there are so many do's and don'ts. Don't. It depends. Some people say don't whistle. So don't whistle. Don't go alone. Like don't split don't up and go by yourself. Don't try to provoke it. Don't flash your gun. I mean, you know. It's, and, and it's. I think it's subjective because some people say, "Oh, don't don't flash your gun." But then some people say, "Let them know you have a gun, so they won't do anything." But you, um. Jonathan and I were talking last night when we were walking in about um, intent where we were driving in about their intention and whether it's to like um, hurt you or not hurt you. Um, And, you know, I was telling him I don't feel like where we're going that their intent is to hurt us. So we were talking about that. Yep. And don't assume that they're they're gonna like attack you. Trying to, I don't know if you got to this because it was helping masticate. Um, don't bring guns. We we did Try actually. We did. We actually we were we were just talking okay. about that's what we're talking about right now. So you dipped in at the right time. Mm-hmm. 
So why don't we talk about that a um, little bit? Fran, to answer your question, Fran has a question. Would they know what a gun is? Yes. Yes, yes, they would. I do believe they would because... I mean, they hear them during hunting season and all that. Well, a lot of the contact they have with humans that come into the woods... Have guns. Have guns because, mm-hmm. you know, you're... A lot of people go in the woods and carry a gun, but not just for... Well, not because of, okay, it's a Bigfoot, but because... Um, you know they're worried about other predatory animals in the area. Yeah. Which around here we've got, we've got a couple other nice predatorial animals or predatory animals that we have to be concerned with, like bears, cougars, panthers. Uh, those we have to worry about. Yes. And pigs, boars. Yep. Uh, wild, pigs. wild man, or wild pigs around here, they're nasty yes, and they, they can get big. Really big. And they will. They they will. Um, they will come after you oh, yeah. if they feel threatened. So Definitely. That's a big one we do have to worry about. Um, so, yeah, let's talk a little bit more about whether to carry or not to carry. Well, I mean, I would think that you could um, under the right conditions as long as you can kind of conceal it. Mm-hmm. I would think that they would know what a long gun is. Example, rifle, shotgun, right. muzzleloader, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Because um, they've seen them. They've seen these humans carrying uh, guns, so on and so forth. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I would assume if you could carry a pistol and kind of keep it concealed, then I think it would be all right. You know, yeah, not, not so much for Bigfoot himself, but um, for, for other, other animals. animals. Yeah. Even if it's to scare anything off. But I think so, too. I think if you're able to conceal it, I think. I feel like you're less of a threat, yeah, yeah. or less. It's you seem less threatening. Yes. So you know, I mean, do it at your discretion. Yeah. But in my opinion, it's not the best idea to go out there fully locked and loaded, yeah. guns blazing, because I mean, a they're either going to take that as a very threatening sign, yeah. or b they're not going to want anything to do with you. Yeah. And if you're trying to get evidence, then. You want some sort you, of... You kind of have to go in and be a little bit vulnerable. You do. You do. And I've been saying that. Like, yeah. you could, you kind of have to come off as a little bit, you know, weaker, yeah. I guess. That wouldn't know? be the word I would have used. Yeah, but you're right. Not weaker, but just less of a threat. Less yeah. Less intimidating. More so, approachable. Yes. But we do want to take a second and we want to welcome our other team member, Captain Caveman, Justin himself. That's hello, right. Hello, 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 everybody. <laughs> yes, we're we're all together. The gang is all here. Like the new meat. I know. So we're talking about our experiences we had last night and the do's and the don'ts. We okay. threw this at Jonathan, or I'll throw it at you. Can you tell us a couple of don'ts that you have learned and a couple of do's in general? Um, nothing specific. Just no, whatever. Nothing specific. Okay, I got you. Uh, the one thing that I learned very quickly is to, whenever you have your uh, your act of fight or flight situations, that you want to stay as calm as possible. Mm-hmm. Because they can easily pick up on that type of energy. Oh, yeah. And like what you guys said earlier, it's okay to go in there vulnerable. But uh, just any long rifles or anything like that, it's easy for them to pick up. And then instantly they're going to feel like they're threatened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, the do's that I found out very quickly is that you want to have a very positive energy whenever you go in there yep. and that you uh, definitely want them to know that you're coming but then they already know at the same time yep. Yep. that you are that you're already there and uh, another quick thing to learn about that for the dudes is to communicate with them as much as possible yep yeah you're exactly right yeah your intent is everything and, and it's like rick villa said on a previous show they that he believes intent they do believe it they do understand intent i absolutely i uh, would yeah, definitely absolutely. well even us as humans yeah we walk in a room and you know we pick up on energy <laughs> yeah without a doubt we <laughs> exactly. do exactly and I mean, we've all gone into the room, and there's that one person that's like, "Oh no," <laughs> like, "Oh no," Sitting next to her right now. <laughs> oh, we're doing that, are we? Oh no, I thought of Jonathan instantly. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought of that one. Dude. What one, dude? The one dude at work. Oh, Adam, yeah, oh. and that dude. Yeah, I we all like him. We, <laughs> <laughs> so we all have that where it's like, you know, so if if. It, it stands to reason that if they rely so much more on their intuition and senses and possibly could have more developed, 
you know, third eye, pineal gland, whatever, and what, whatever the case is, they're more sensitive than we are. So they're going to be able to pick up on it, like, from a mile away. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, without mm-hmm. a doubt. Yeah. So, you know, and even, 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 like, putting all that aside, if we're walking out there just like we did last night. Yeah. And they're watching and listening. I mean, they're going to immediately be like, okay, these people are a threat or these aren't just just, just by gauging it, like just by looking at you. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, yeah, intent is it t- plays a big part of it. So Fran has a question. She says, how large of a group is accept- acceptable and how many would be too many? We were, you know, that was I think one of, we were just enough last night. I do too. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. That that's one of my concerns, uh, and it's something that you have to weigh. And I think it's situation to situation, even you know, um, location to location. And I, and I also think it depends on how much ground you're trying to cover as well. That's true. Like we, well, we drove mo- the majority of their way up there, yeah. but we covered what two, three miles. Oh yeah, we cover we cover in two and a half in and two and a half out. Yeah. So. Um, we were just we were just enough last night. Um, I, I think you could run a, a, a larger group if you're splitting up. Like if you went like six, maybe eight people. Yeah, and went four to a group. Completely and sp- split and up. Sp- completely went two different directions. I think that would still be okay. Yeah, but not in one general spot. Well, you know, I was wondering last night before we went in, how was it going to go? Was it gonna? You know, make it where there was no, no activity, yeah, and where they were just too intimidated to approach. Well, but I remember when we went in there. I don't mean to cut you off. Mm-hmm. When we went in there, and we were like, "Wait a minute, we should stay in a group." It, it kind of did feel like all eyes on us when we, oh, as yeah. soon as we get out there. Oh yeah, as soon as, soon as we walked out, it, it there, wasn't it wasn't a bad thing. No, oh, no. but it was like uh, we're not we're not alone. You know no, what I mean? No, it was immediate. Yeah, it was. It was I don't know. It was. It, you you know what it almost was like even when we were down at the um at the uh, check-in station mm-hmm. when we yeah. parked yeah. down yeah it it's almost like you could feel that like that something was yeah. up oh, even yeah. down as there soon, as soon as we parked and whenever john and i first got there first it was almost like there were there was already all eyes on us yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it was, was probably it was, the centuries or whatever. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, the welcoming committee friend says. Yes, <laughs> yeah. they, they definitely did. Yeah, oh, they yeah. definitely did. It, that's it, that's exactly what it was like. Is I, I couldn't tell which was worse, walking out, in, out, out, or uh, I'm sorry, walking in, in or, or out. out. I couldn't tell you know, which one was worse. I, I, almost, I would I would say walking out was yeah, the me worst too. because whenever we were at that waterfall. It would. We had nowhere else to go. Yeah, we no, were. We, we were did. dead ended. I know we, we were, were dead ended, and there was only one way out, and that was. And in front we were of us. down in the bottom, so yeah. we had no advantages. Yeah, they had all. all. They had all the advantages. They did. I mean, they can see at night. Oh yeah, <laughs> we, <laughs> we can't. <laughs> we had twenty five flashlights. <laughs> um, it and looked like a bunch of jeeps coming through the woods. They did, and and they could hear us, but we couldn't have heard them down in there. No, oh no, without a doubt, no. we make too much noise. Yeah, and noise. plus we're right by water, so we couldn't have heard no. them co- approaching. No, I mean we had every disadvantage last night. Yeah. I mean, we were sitting ducks, just like those things in the middle of the road. Whenever we were walking out, we yes, could, that that was the most interesting thing because I remember those sticks weren't there. They weren't no. there when we walked in. On the way out too. Oh, when oh, we were yeah. in the back of the truck, guys, yeah. we saw one stuck on the side of the trail in the shoved dirt. in the ground. Yeah. 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 And it was like, what? It yeah, was not some there of these, before. Some of these sticks were shoved two, three, four inches into the ground. Exactly. And it snapped off. Right on the middle of the trail. Almost like it was a trap. Weird. <laughs> Don't I mean, put it that way. I, I know uh, whenever... I started to get nervous is whenever we got closer to the waterfall, we couldn't hear anything. And also yes. that structure was yeah. also there. That's whenever I started to get nervous. Yeah. And we, we couldn't see into it. Nope. It was very, the, I don't remember seeing it. It was strange. I yeah. was probably being negative. Yeah. It was over way. on the left. It mm-hmm. was on our, it was yeah. The one that's got the tree in down there on that end. No, nah, I, was, I was probably being, yeah, whatever. And just kept walking. <laughs> that's yeah. Cause me. you were walking, cause you were pacing backwards and yeah. we pointed it out. You're yeah. Like, yeah. Because yeah. That's I just, when, it, yeah. It just, cause one, once we started getting down there, it felt like ambush. It, 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 that it, it is what it felt strange. like. It, it felt, felt like, like ambush. ambush. It was, it was really strange. What did Fran say? It was, uh, it was true role reversal. You were no longer the hunter. You were being hunted. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. Oh, 
But yeah. that that happens out there. Yeah, like, it does. It I does. don't I don't care if you're carrying the biggest gun in the no. world. You are the hunted once yeah. you walk out there. Oh yeah, absolutely. But it gets better. We haven't even got. Yeah, no, we haven't. And and it was even more interesting because I remember using my rocks and I remembered where I put my rocks that I used yes. that night. And I whenever we went out, my they rocks were, were gone. They were gone, completely yeah. gone. But even when we got out of the car when we started at the beginning, you could hear something big. Yeah. To the right, right, right and in the to beginning, the left. right in the beginning, right off the rip. It was immediate. Yeah. There was um a kind of a a ridge up uh to our left, left. And, and then, then it was a hollow to our right. It kind of went down into the hollow on the right, but yep. it was a it was definitely not a steep grade. Uh, but no, it's no. not right in that area. But yeah. man, you could hear it was as soon as almost like they were saying um no, yeah you know to see if we would leave. As soon as we got there, well, it gets yeah. better, friend. We're not yet, us. but yes, wa- rocks were gone, but it gets better. Just listen. Yeah. I mean, yes. I know, I know, we're talking about do's and don'ts, but you, you're going to kind of get that from this we're, story yeah, that we're you talking. Definitely tonight. are, yeah. definitely. So the one other one other thing that the boys didn't know when we were walking out there is we were walking in a line, and if you do any kind of research about uh, walking in the woods with a group of kids, you know, with your children and yes. you. Um, what what you normally would do is the second strongest is always up front and the strongest person is, is in, in the, the rear. Back. Yeah. So I Justin took point when he didn't know I just let him go and I decided to take the back. And so they didn't know it until we got about halfway through the walk almost down to the waterfall and I yeah. said do you realize what we're doing here? And uh they no, they had, they didn't know and I and I explained it to them they're like, "Oh, great." So the chances of me getting taken out and being in the back were less than being taken out on the front. Right. So they would go for the front person first, and the strongest <laughs> person in the rear would come up and back them up. Is basically how that works. I was just going with the flow, man. I was, yeah. I was ready. I was ready to go. So that that's kind of another do. That even goes along with you know for bears and, and yeah. cougars and, and and stuff like that. So. Um, Which, by the way, when we were day scouting, yeah, we did see a bear. Um, we saw a bear. John saw it first, and and yeah. then we we saw it. We had the dog at that time. Yeah. But we were day scouting on the Wednesday. Dog, the, was it Wednesday or Thursday? Thir- Friday. Yeah, it was Friday. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, and the dog didn't alert. So it, it is a good thing. It is a do to have a dog with you when you go squatch hunting. Yep. Especially during the day, because oh, the yeah. dog will alert you if there's any other critters around, bears, cougars, coyotes, whatever. The the funny thing is, looking back on it now, she was. Remember, I told you guys she was, she was right in the beginning. Them. Yeah, when me and Lily went, but she did alert when we took her out. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it was really strange. You know, whether the dog barks, the hair stands up, she whines. Yeah. No, I mean, circle were, will do both so all three will, times. Most of the time she'll whine. Yeah. And you can hear her and the hair will stand up. She won't so much bark. You know, and she did her hair didn't stand up when the bear was right around. No, it no. was more what really intrigued me of her, of her activity and how she was acting was right in the beginning because she was doing that nervous painting. She was. You're right. And she was sticking right beside us. Yeah. yeah. Which is not normal for her. Yeah, I mean, you, you know watch that, Jonathan, when we took her... Um, she did not. Doesn't she? Kind of goes and um, she, takes off. Yeah, she just and she goes. takes point, and she'll go and kind of make a perimeter. But the other day, when um, when me, John, and Justin t- went up the first time, she went and leave right beside us. Yeah, she'd stay close. Yeah, and that's not really normal for her. No, and we were close. already pretty far up there. Yeah, and she was just hanging right beside us. Mm-hmm. So it was really odd. Mm-hmm. And that hair went on the end. Yeah. So watch your dogs. That's a do. That's take, a definitely take a, a dog do. is you can a take do. Take a dog and let it run. More than one is even better. Even, the more dogs you have, the better. Yeah. So it's that's definitely a good tool to use. Yeah. Um, It'll keep other um, predatorial animals away, and you know other critters that you don't yeah. want away. And so. the don't is don't have a squatch cat because it's not going to do. You yeah, definitely not a squatch cat or a squatch llama or no. peacock. Ostrich. Yeah, emu. Yeah. I don't know who's bringing a peacock on a squatch. Oh, you never know. You never know. <laughs> so, um, so we got down to the, and as you're doing this line, whoever's in the back, always watch the back door because that's your only way out. You're responsible for looking behind you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Have it. Um, <laughs> Poor Jonathan. 
So yeah, after I told him that, and I stuck Jonathan in, in the back for That's a little when while, things started to happen. and his head was on a swivel. I could see the well, both lights, his headlamp in that big ass bright light that flashlight. he flashlight. Yeah, the they were all over. That's it what I'm gonna like call it. The it, it freaked me out because I could see my own shadow, <laughs> and it freaked me out as we were walking, and it kept on moving. Yeah. Yeah. it's like what is that? So yeah, yeah. Um, it, it definitely looked like a ray was going on behind us. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. The, the further we got in, though, yeah. you know, there were moments where it was pretty quiet and we were calm, but there were moments where, holy cow, it was crazy. It so was, one, one of the do's, I just want to go back, day scout your area before you go in. Oh, yeah, that's a do. Yes, yes. definitely do. Yeah, don't go in just... Blinded. Don't do that. That's probably Where's a good that? idea. Oh. We kind of did that last night, though, didn't we? Well, yes, but no. <laughs> yeah, yes, 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 but no. Yes, but no. We, yes, but no. Yeah, because we day scouted to where we saw the sign. But then yes, we did. after that, we just we, kept we, on going. We kind of, yeah. There there were a couple members of the crew who, um, who liked to follow their uh, intrigue a little bit more than others. So we just keep going, whether or not um, it's safe, I would say. Yeah. So I don't know who those people are. No, no, not a clue. I have no idea. We have no idea. I don't know. Are you talking about me? <laughs> sure. <laughs> it, it's definitely not me and you, John. Are you talking about that one over there? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, she's like I'm, I'm the totally anti. Oblivious, so. we're, we're talking about how we just. Well, I, I kind of made it my fault, too, because I was in the front. And I just kept on going from where we were at. Keep going. It might be dangerous. Okay, let's go. You know, <laughs> that, that was kind of exactly thing. What it Did was. you hear that? Let's go. <laughs> run toward it. Yeah. 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 yeah don't run toward it. That, don't do that. Now, see, that's open for conjecture. That, yeah, that is open for discussion. So, some of us would run at it, like to it. Others of us probably wouldn't. Definitely would not be me, though. No, not, not me it. either. So one, one thing I would you, never do that. So where they would run to it. I myself, not because I'm a wuss, and me too. I would tend to back up. I want to show it a little bit of respect. Hey, I'm not here to hurt you, so I would back up. I know. Just a few steps. I know. And then once everything calmed down and they were cool with it, then we can move forward. But sometimes you need to take two steps back to go one step forward. So Dude, sometimes you have to take three steps forward and forget the steps back. But that's just an opinion. Yeah, full sin or no sin, but that's, that's a different story. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, so a don't. Um, don't tree knock all the time. Right. Come on. Like. I, I did a little bit, but yeah, even then it wasn't that loud either. I was just trying to yeah. see what trees sounded good. But the don'ts are people think that what you do is you go in the woods and you sit there and you just start knocking and screaming and knocking yeah. and screaming. I mean, we, we did vocalize a little we bit. Do. We did tree knock a little bit. Yes. But we didn't go crazy with no, it. No, we, we don't. We, you feel it out. And when, when you feel it out and, and you can kind of get like, okay, this is an idea. So hold on one second. Okay. Yes. Fran says, okay, I don't understand. Scouting ahead to plan a route? Is that what you're saying? Then that's uh, a mission, isn't it? I'm confused. Good question, Fran. So what scouting means is basically we go into an area to gauge it first. During the day. We want to, during the day, we want to look for sign, possible sign. It's easier to see. Um, we, we do our research and homework before we pick areas. We don't just like, you know, throw darts at a map. We're, you know, actually going and. Sometimes we do. We sometimes he do full center no sin. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm the researcher here, because we want to. <laughs> well, if if you you don't want to go into an area and say I never want to go into an area. He doesn't. You're right. <laughs> that you don't want to go into an area just because oh it looks cool. You want to do some research to see if it's possible, because then you're upping your chances of having an experience. True. Yeah. So you don't want to just go in and like I don't know anything about the area. So what you do is you out ahead you look for sign maybe some structures prints whatever um see you you know 
what kind of wildlife is in that yeah. immediate area, what the terrain is. There are several things that so, you take into account. A, so. an, another example of scouting ahead, too, is if you hear something, you hold your team back, let one, one person go so that way they don't contaminate an area with footprints. And yes. you can get a better gauge as to what possibly went through there without right. trying to guess if that's Cindy's foot or Jonathan's foot. Exactly. So, And um, what, if you find things in an area, enough things to kind of be interesting then that's the spot that you want to go back when it is nighttime mm-hmm. so when you go back at night you already kind of have um, a feel for the area you know what the train's like and where you want to go and you go from there and you yeah. just hope hey you know i picked a spot you know i'm either going to be lucky or i'm not right last night i was not expecting that no because so as we went down the trail and we ended up so let's go forward the story a little bit because we only got yep. about a half an hour left wow. um so we get to the water the the river the creek the waterfall whatever the hell it was you couldn't i mean it sounded like a waterfall it, it, it first, definitely I had thought a, it was wind it, it definitely had white water you could yeah. tell well when yeah. you looked up it kind of meandered up the yeah. up the hill but yeah it was so yeah. the one thing I do is when we get into an area and I start looking around, I start looking down. I mean, you want to, another do is to look up in the trees when that you're looking for these. Yes, definitely. But once we get into an area where we're kind of settled in, I start scoping out the ground because it's kind of strange that every time we do this, we pull a bone out. Yes. This one time Justin was with us and I believe it was him who found it. It was a turtle shell. Yes, yeah. it was a an clean, empty, cleaned yeah. turtle shell. Like something had just popped it just, right open. Just the top shell. It's like yeah. something just ripped it off the bottom and ate out of the turtle shell. Out of the in the bottom half. So it was weird. Yes, friend. And it was near a, an actual possible track, a potential a track. A potential track, yeah. yeah. So um, we Justin actually spotted the potential track and then found the turtle shell, which was super cool. So we get past this river. Um, at least that's what we call it up north. Um, <laughs> it's a creek. True, true is what we call it. We call it a river. It's a river. It's a it's river a up north. It's a creek. Um, a bear could have done that, Fran. Yeah, a bear very well could have. But the th- peculiar thing is, is the shell is not damaged. No gouges, no, no. teeth marks, no, no gnar marks. No claw marks or no anything. Because if the bear is going to hold it, it's going to... To do that, you're going to have some sort of damage on the shell. Yeah, and there was no damage on the shell. No None, tooth zero. marks. No, like, pry it open with your teeth kind of Nothing. thing. Nothing. So, I don't know. But we'll take pictures of it and we'll post it. Um, so, we get to the one area, and this goes with, along with what I was saying. Look down when you get into an area. Yes. Right? So, I look down, and there was potential humans that have been out there. Yeah. But when I looked down and I saw that rock stack... Yes. That's another thing that Bigfoot is known for doing, stacking yep. rocks. Yes. Kind of a landmark. Maybe they're bored. Who knows why they do it? I don't know. But there's a rock stack in the middle of the woods with no sign of humans recently. And it was a perfect stack in the perfect spot. It's very yeah. odd. Yeah. Very odd. It looked odd. like it had been there a while it because did. some of the rocks had fallen yes. off. So I just picked them up and tried to put them back yeah, on. So. It, but it did look like yeah. it had been... Um, I don't know. It was really strange. Mm, yeah. It was odd. Um, another do, I would have to say, is um, pay attention to water sources. Yeah. Because those well, are the areas where you're going to find potential tracks. And, and what go, also goes along with that, at least somebody keep their eyes open while you're taking a break. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. like a, that's what I was doing last night. I was kind of looking around and just... Trying to listen the best I could. Yeah, you ho- you always have to be aware. You always have to be, you know. Somebody kind of, has to. Yeah, you always do yeah. out there. It's not. It's not something where you're just like you can't listen. Like th- there's not a time you don't need to be listening to everything around yeah. you. I and, mean, even if you're not the guy or the girl sitting down taking a break, you should still, even if you're sitting down, at least listen. Well, I think it comes. Mean- that's what I was doing last yeah. time. Yeah, too. he definitely was. I think it becomes something that once you do it for a while, you know, I mean, we got two experienced hunters that Three. we've put on the team. Oh, yeah, two. That we've two, put two, on the team yeah. recently. So, you know, they're, they're, this is something that they've yes, already friend, you're right. um, become accustomed to. That was me last night. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like that when, when, when we do this stupid stuff. <laughs> you should have heard him in the truck on the way up. 
Dude, <laughs> as soon as I saw that that gate was open, I was like, oh. He was so, he was so hoping the gate was would not be open. At first, he told, us, he told us it was closed. It, no, I wasn't joking either. I thought yeah, it was. He really did. And I was like, oh, man. are you?" And I kept saying, are you sure? Are so you I sure? I went back and looked again. And then Justin said, no, it's open. And I looked. I'm like, yep, he's right. And then, I was like, yes. Because, went, I saw uh, because, because back, the gate was sideways. Yeah. yeah. And that's when you know the gate's open. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's well, it, it looked like yeah. it was a cross. I just yeah. looked quick. I saw the sign. I'm like, nope, it's closed. And then so, she's like, are you kidding? I'm like, does it sound like I'm kidding? Yeah, he said that. I was like, really? Because, but yeah. it was it was open, actually. Yeah, it was open. So we, we, we got to go in and we drove in three miles. Yeah. That's a long way. Yeah. Um, Another do get as far in as you can. Yeah, I mean, if you can save your energy and drive as far in as you possibly can, that's great. Yeah. Another but, another do if you have to walk in. Yeah. Take your time. Yes. Yeah. It's not a race. No, it's not a race because you're gonna miss things. Yep. And you need to save your energy. Yep. Another do I would say is do bring a snack, a gift. Yeah. Bring do a bring gift. a gift. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Don't bring alcohol. No, dear God, do not bring alcohol. <laughs> and, and, you, and you don't want a hammered Bigfoot. That's what I was going to say. What's worse than a mad Bigfoot? No, a drunk Bigfoot. A drunk Bigfoot. That does not sound good. No, it doesn't sound like fun. It would be funny. I wonder how many Sasquatches have gotten into like um, mash or like oh, I or didn't like. Think of that. Yeah, yeah. I, wow. I'll tell you. If I ever saw a Bigfoot drunk, I'd call him Daryl and then take a video of it because it would be <laughs> hilarious. Just imagine how much he'd have to drink. I know. That's a, yeah, that's, that, a lot. that's a lot. But I mean, if you if you find a mash barrel, you're good to go. Yeah. I mean, that is fermented. That, that, oh my god. <laughs> They'd love it. Oh, of course they would. They probably do. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how many times the shiners come by. What the heck happened? And to when you're done at the end of the night, yeah, just give a big old yell. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Yeah. You know, always say thank you. I mean, they just let you into their house. Well, again, it's intent. Yeah. It goes back to that. It goes back to, hey, you know, I'm your Francis, friend. She knows how to yeah. make mash. Oh, no. We talked about that. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to send me a recipe. Great. Let you do your thing. Isn't that what they called On the Waltons, the recipe they yeah. made? Yeah. That was Moonshine. Good Lord. She watches Moonshine is on TV. We need to get um, Ricky to, like. Oh, Jesus. Be our moonshiner. Pretend like he's a moonshiner. All for it. We'd probably get so many views. We'd go viral. It'd <laughs> be awesome. All for it. All for it. All what? <laughs> what? Y'all what? see that? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hang on. Oh. Here it goes. What do you think, Uncle Ricky? <laughs> we love Uncle Ricky. Yeah, we do. We All do. of us do. Oh, we yeah. take care of him. He's a happy guy. So... On your return out, when you start walking out of the woods, I, I one do, <laughs> one do and don't, don't leave your trash and do pick it up. Yes. Yeah. Don't do that. Um. So when and we were do it. and don't and do do it and don't do it. <laughs> so when we were yeah. coming out, at first it was kind of okay. Yeah, it was. It was kind of an easy. Kinda, it was like, okay, oh, that, first, it feels good. Yeah. But you know, um, I remember you, Justin, felt. Oh, it was something I've never felt before. I never felt like I've been hunted. Like, yeah, I felt like I was being foreshadowed because I because it was like it was specifically targeting me because I was up in the front. I was leading mm-hmm. you guys out. I could hear it walk with me, which is crazy because the rest of us did not hear it, mm. and um, that's not uncommon. Yeah. And it's it's you know they can direct supposedly infrasound yeah. mm-hmm. at one so certain the, person. So they could have. Directed infrasound to the point we couldn't hear it. Yeah, and but only he could. He could. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and so we were like, okay, and we were, you know, we we would kind of do the whole one, two, three experiment where you count to three and everybody stops just to see if you can hear one or two more steps um, off in the which we didn't. We did not. No, not at all. We did it twice, I believe. But then all of a sudden, like we stopped. There were, we stopped, and there was this this wait. Are you going to say the woo? No, the noise All right. that was off oh, to yeah. the right. Don't get to that And point then we're yet. like, holy crap. There yeah. is something over yeah, there. Yeah, there was all of a sudden, And it yeah. was like a loud it was, boom. It was, right, it was right next to that little ambush spot. Not yeah. like it was further up because we can see the limbs crisscrossing. It looked like it was almost yeah. like an ambush spot. Yeah. 
And right when we heard that noise, is right where it was. It was like a loud boom, and then you heard like scuffling. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and it was crazy. When, then when we stopped and we shut our lights off, you could still hear it. It yep. sounded like it ran and then stopped. But if you listened closely, you could hear it maybe shift a foot or a hand or yeah. something. You yeah. could hear it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It was and it was quick. You're very you know? quick. And it was on the quiet side of the mountain where we were at. Yes, yeah. it was. Yeah. yeah. So it. it as we got to hear, then we were like, holy crap, like there is something there. Yeah. You know, when it was confirmed like that with everybody, it's always great. But um, that was, we were like, okay. <laughs> you know, that in itself was, mm-hmm. um, it was crazy. Yeah. It was because you, your mind starts thinking, what is this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you you know, your, your feelings of not being alone yeah. and being watched are pretty much like confirmed at that yeah. point yeah. so at, at one point we started walking and you know sometimes you have to wrangle your team back in when things start getting a little hairy so yeah, it, it, it's it's okay to say hey you know justin or hey cindy or hey jonathan whatever the case may be let's tighten it up a little bit yeah because sometimes you need to look bigger than yeah. what's yeah. out there mm-hmm. so yeah. then being in a group is definitely it, it pays off so that's one do if you have to tighten it up tighten it up yeah it blurs the line of a single a singular person right. so yeah. You instead of becoming four possible targets, you become one bigger, big, big, one big target. Yeah. yeah, yeah, which is much more, more intimidating. intimidating yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. So we were coming out. So we were coming out, and we got to the ambush spot, and I think it was down the road just a little bit. We come to that tree that was down. Yes. Yeah. And I remember how I said I see light through there. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then Justin was like, "I see a set of eyes, yep. and they looked like they were glowing eyes." And yes. I, I stepped up, and I'm like, "No, no," because. I don't. I don't think that's it. And I thought it was his truck, but it wasn't. Yeah, it was, it was just the, the, gate. the gate. Yeah, it was the gate. I think. Yeah, I think throughout the time when we first got in the woods, especially they were doing that and saying, "Hey, you know what? This is our home, and we don't really appreciate you being in here." But sometimes you have to. You have to push. Yeah, you have a to little push the further because a little bit. you're not going to learn anything if you don't right. push. I was all for that. Yeah, I know. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely great. So we got to the gate, rounded the corner up, just about to his truck. Yes. And then out of nowhere, there was two. Woo! Yes. Woo! Yes. And it was like... And that, I'll admit it, that was the only time I got nervous. Now, I'm, I'm not going to lie. When I heard it uh-huh. and I turned, just before it did it, I turned my head behind me. Yeah. And when I heard the woo, I could feel it hit me on the side of my yes. face and my shoulder. Just those areas. Yeah. That was the goosebump spot. Those areas. Not the rest of my yeah. body. Just my head and my shoulder. Well, see, Jonathan thought that you had accidentally snuck... Uh, not accidentally, but like just kind of snuck behind him. And that you um, had yeah. done it from behind us. No. That's when he originally thought it was up front. Yeah. Right. No. Yeah. yeah. And then, no, yeah. And I said I, it. I thought it was up front because it echoed so, it was so yeah. loud Yeah, see, and so I clear. thought it was up front too. No, yeah. Because when I had turned my head, something told me to turn my head and look behind me and yeah. then it happened. Isn't that weird? The two of us thought it was up front and the other two thought it was behind us. I mean, yeah. it makes sense. Yeah. Well, I mean, just think of the amount of lung capacity that they have to project all that sound and it's going to bounce everywhere it's going to confuse you i bet they were like down in the or on the other side on the other ridge and it was just bouncing around in the hall i wouldn't it sounded to me like they were on the road that we were on but way down Mm -hmm. i thought it was coming from the truck i did too see that's that's what i I thought i started backing up because i thought it was coming from the truck i did too i thought they were blocking our way out which kind of i mean they were out there when we were leaving too yeah so yeah it was an interesting situation yeah definitely needless to say and Go ahead. You go ahead. No, I, I well, don't know. these sounds are not sounds where we that we are that are new to us. Yeah, no, we've actually gotten these same sounds before, and I was able to show them to a couple of Bigfoot hunters that uh, work for Expedition Bigfoot, by the way, um, Scott and Sheila. Thank you, and they were able to confirm that we actually caught Bigfoot sound, Bigfoot calls. Yes. And this call that I, I recorded, um, which I might be able to play it again for you guys if you want, um, it was the same exact call we heard in the Cajadas. Yes. That we heard here, and we heard it at Track Rock. Track Rock It's all as well. the same sound. Yeah, definitely the so. same. It, it, 
I knew immediately when we heard it yeah. what it was because I've heard it before. Yeah. I didn't even need to know what it was. Yeah. I knew I've spent so much. I, I have too much time on my hands to be out in the woods. But uh, no, it, no, it, no. I know I don't. <laughs> Thank you for keep telling me that. I but yep. I've been out in the woods so often to where I knew exactly what that was whenever I heard it. Yeah. Cause definitely. It, because people say, "Oh, that's just an owl." No, owl no, that's just no owl. Makes, no owl just does one hoot like that, and not that loud a, either. No, and no sounds like bird. a person. Well, yeah. well that light like, sounds exactly like a person going yes. Yahoo. Yeah. yeah, you know, it was it was it was very apparent what we were yeah dealing we with. Did. Oh yeah, they would. I don't know. I I would be willing to bet. Oh, and do bring a voice recorder. Yes. At least we did not have one last night, but there was no, reason did, for it. But I, I didn't have the parabolic; it was way too windy. That's for what it. I'm saying. So the parabolic it would have been. It wouldn't have been useful. I don't think the as windy as it was at first. I don't know if the, even the other one would have done very well, but no, it may have. Maybe. But it, regardless, we didn't get that last night. But still, it was cool. Yeah, and that's another thing about when you're out um, doing this as opposed to paranormal investigation. Uh, we're up against the elements, which is something you generally don't have to worry about as much when you're investigating the paranormal. So we have all these factors that we have got to consider that change constantly, Mm -hmm. even in the same place. It changes on a regular basis. So we've got to worry about temperature and all these things when we're trying to document what we're doing. So that makes it a little bit harder, a little more challenging. Always go out overdressed because you can always take it off, but you can't put it on. But in the same time, token never go out with too much because if you i'm more worried about clothes when i go out if i'm warm enough yeah, you know what i mean yeah like take what you need yeah. and what's good um and take you know certain things like tape be prepared especially if you're going to walk a lot be prepared and take things for safety um but don't pack half of your house to go do this I, either. Well, don't, don't ever do that. Uh, no, I, don't. I, I was kind of carrying extra um, stuff with me last night, but yeah. it was experimental stuff, equipment, and stuff like that that we needed that right. we didn't get to use because of the, the elements. But, um, you know, we had tree knockers and everything yeah. else. That, yeah. We just, just think smart about it. Yeah. Um, it. It never hurts to have a... I like to have a hike and stick. Oh, yeah. Hike and sticks are good. And it's just kind of also... It's, it's sort of twofold because... You know, it helps with, especially if you're in the dark, because we yeah. were in the dark well, last we, night. Whenever you turn off your flashlights, you couldn't see. No. You couldn't see anything. Yet. No. See anything at all. It was pitch. But um, it's good for that. And also, if, you know, a, a wily coyote comes at you, you can just smack it with your stick. So, yeah. you but know. Another do that I always do, even though, even going on Bigfoot hunting or not. Shut up over there, will you? <laughs> but a, another thing is not only to bring protein, bring something sweet with yep. lots of sugar yep because if you go up, up and down there and you start getting feeling nauseous well yeah. water's another like good me. thing too <laughs> yep justin you got a candy bar, <laughs> <laughs> candy bar. Candy bar. <laughs> hey but you could also take your sweets and throw them at the bigfoot yeah it might, might just smack him right in the face he would i think he would appreciate that i don't know just, if you hit him in the face i, I think he'd be totally it. fine i think he'd pick it up and eat it but, is it, oh, okay well, that wasn't so bad that you don't look him in the eye yes <laughs> oh i'm so glad you brought that yeah. up yes that is also, if you ever encounter a Sasquatch... Don't ever look them in the eyes. Don't go looking up at them like, mm, you know, like... You, you look off- on the offense when yeah, you do that. Yeah, well, that's a, that's a, a supposedly a threat when you do that. Yeah. Just like it is with, like, you know, silverback gorillas. Anything, any predatory animal that's angry, you look it in the eyes, that's a challenge. Yes. So do not challenge that's it. That's the same thing. Though. So, yeah. yeah. So kind of bow your head, keep mm-hmm. him in the peripheral, just back away back away until he or she lets you turn around and walk away don't ever take your eyes off no. him ever no back Just out keep as backing far as out, you nice to. and easy don't ever turn and run you become prey yep just nice and easy back away you know just just don't say anything. Don't make any noise. Just back away nice and slow and just get out of there. So Fran brings up a good thing. Is it a lot different on a night with a full moon? Give more light. So that's actually pretty cool. Yes. Um, yeah. If you got a full moon, your eyes will adjust. Now, it takes your eyes 45 minutes to adjust to the dark. Fully. Fully. Mm-hmm. But yes. Um, the other thing, the, the downside to that is low light um, will actually cause you to hallucinate. So that's, that's a downside mm-hmm. to it. But yes, you, I mean... I would say for Sasquatch, it would be a benefit. I'd have to agree. Yeah. 
yeah, definitely a benefit for everybody. But at the same time, I mean, not that they can't, but it's also easier to see you. So if you're trying to hide from a Sasquatch, mm. which it sounds funny at all. <laughs> because Bigfoot is hide and seek champion. You yeah, are not yeah, hiding you, from yeah. him. No. If he's the counter, you're screwed. Yeah. I <laughs> yes. I don't care if you're in a ghillie suit up in a tree or laying under some leaves. He knows you're there. Of course he does. And you're not hiding from him. He's probably no, laughing at you. Probably. He's like, what is, really? What is he doing? He's probably like, I've hid from you guys for thousands of years. Yeah, you think right. you can hide from me? Exactly. Yeah. He's going to be like, Juan, I got you. You're over it's like, there. like, no, 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 no. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Yeah. yeah. He probably does have his opinion. you use your fingers and toes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you got to climb up the tree. Speaking of, we were just speaking of um, Bigfoot's modes of operation or mm-hmm. um. What is it called? Just movement, you know. Yeah. What is it called? Anyway, there's uh, his, a word I'm looking for. His, I can't think. Um, uh, See, you know the word I'm yes, trying to think of too. I, I, I do. His. But then also, just as you guys are thinking about it, it also makes sense of how he's able to crawl on his hands and feet because of his feet. Motor are, skills. And, is that what you're talking about? No. It also makes sense if he's able to crawl on his hands and feet because his feet are double hinged. Yes, that's right. We talked about the uh, metatarsal break that the Sasquatch um, is said to have in the very middle of his foot. It's a hinge, an extra hinge that we do not have. Mm-hmm. And it can uh, it gives him um, more ability to do things than we do as far as how he walks. His maneuverability? Yes, maneuverability. So the way that they and they they're good at moving, like they're good at moving either in the air or on the ground. So I don't know how you get away with from one of these if you had to. Anyway, what's what, what I don't is? know. He's laughing over this. So I don't know if he cares <laughs> to share. Or. <laughs> Please share. Be, be, before you share, I want to say something real quick. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. it makes sense of how they're going to move so crazy fast because how close those uh, woos were. And then you said you heard them further off into the distance. Yeah. That yes. was within like 30 seconds. Yes, well, very well, quick. It, it de- they don't ever go alone. So I'm assuming that there was probably more than one of them escorting. There was more so. than one of them. Oh, absolutely. The Absolutely, the whole night. Absolutely, because yeah. it, 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 they were we were being shadowed. You could tell we yeah. were being shadowed. Yeah. Um, but Which, yeah, it's it was. I, I mean, mean, we've heard that same sound at Track Rock in yeah. three different spots. Okay. Yeah. So, and it was always in the holler when we heard it. You know, an interesting. And then on the way out, that one time up on the hill. Do you remember that interesting um, thing that happened as far the as boom? no? Um, but that was weird. The whole mountain shook. It was yeah. really crazy. Yeah. The whole mountain yeah. you could, shook. It sounded, you ever hear like a, a 10 wheeler dump and the, yeah. and the gate slams? Mm-hmm. That's that's what it sounded like, but you could feel it. But but it also, to me, it sounded like an Indian's drum. Yeah, that's true. Um, we didn't, as far as them being quick, do you remember when we were down yes. at the waterfall yes. off We Hunt? Yeah. Remember the, we Yahoo. actually, no, 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 no. It sounded like a party bus or something. Yeah, that's right. Yahoo. Yeah, it did. Woo-hoo. It was weird. Woohoo. I mean, it was within, uh, the whole thing took 30 seconds. And they had to move. So it was basically almost, what, seven and a half seconds or more. That they moved like Ten three seconds. or 400 yards. 10 seconds. Boom, boom, boom. The only way they could have done that is in the air flying. I swear to God, I'm not even kidding. Because it was over here. On this side of then the holler. it was dead in front of us. And then it was dead in front of us on the other side of the river. And then it and was then up it was on the waterfall. Way over here. Like about a half mile down the road. Yeah, the whole thing was 30 seconds long. I mean, then, so then that's what makes you realize. In that the holler, you think, yeah. You think it's one. Translation for yeah. there could valley. be, like, you could have heard More. four different ones go off at but once. But this didn't even sound like that. It sounded like people yelling and screaming. It was the weirdest yeah, sound. Yeah, it, it sounded like, it sounded like, like Yahoo, woo-hoo, woo-hoo, yeah, yeah, woo-hoo, yeah. 
<laughs> that's what it sounded like. But th- there's no way you could move that quick no. that fast. No. It sounded like a car of people coming as we thought it was Dude, a car of people because they were. Because you can get a Jeep down there. Right. I thought somebody was coming down in a Jeep and somebody's yeah. hanging out the like top, flashing the boobies or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like they're at a Motley Crue concert or something. Yes. Dude, it was crazy. <laughs> it sounded like a full on party, but that party moved. It was like Mach 5. It was weird. Mm. Like they covered the length of that holler in 30 seconds. There's no way possible. There is no humanly possible way if you're not in a plane or flying that you can move that quick. It was in. It was ridiculous. I honestly was waiting for a, a vehicle to come through the river. I really was. I was we, waiting for it. We got it on audio too. Yeah, we do, and I just don't know where it is. No, that's when we were playing with of the course. parabolic, yeah. on like early stages. Yeah. Now I'm curious what Jonathan was laughing about. Yeah, now I am too. Jonathan, your turn, big fella. Oh, excuse me, big country. I'm sorry. Big country. Well, big I was just country. Remember, uh, remember how we felt something poke us? Yes. Oh, we did. Absolutely. And so you had something poke you, both I of you, it Jonathan. Was, I thought it was you. Jonathan. And I was like, what? What are you doing touching like, my wife? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, we were walking. Jonathan was, like, to my right behind me. But he was pretty far behind me. And on my left side, it felt like somebody took a stick and poked mm. me. Like, a hard kind of a jab mm. on my left side. And I'm like, did you poke me? I think we're going to have to have a part two to this because we're almost out of time. We're, we're going to have to. Uh. But then a few minutes later, he felt something poke him. Yeah, I remember that. And then it was also, I never, uh, the feeling of being hunted in whenever we were going in. Yeah. And I was leading the front. And then uh, I forget what you and Jonathan were doing, but you guys were looking at something. And then I told Cindy to come to me. Yes. Because I thought I saw movement up, yeah. up on top of yep. the ridge. And that's whenever <laughs> I got... <laughs> I got dizzy and I got really nauseous. But we all heard at a once. clack up there that sounded like rock clacking, and that, we that's heard whenever, that. Did that's it sound like could, hands clapping too? I, it, it, it was I hard mean, to no, tell. No, no. It, whenever I hit my rocks together, that's, that's what it sounded like. Same sound as rocks. I, I've heard that in the car is within I, 20, 30, maybe fifty yards out. Oh, remember, yeah. we heard it the other day when we were day scouting up there. That and you were thorn. sitting on the log, and yes. it sounded like a tree, uh, someone tree knocking. Yeah, it did, but it was sounded like a kind of a weird don't. Yeah. Kind of, it was really odd. I can't tell you the number of like sounds we heard that sounded like rock clacking and thumping and thudding and and last night we heard several. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was crazy. It, it, it's it never really like it it never really ceased. It was kind of all yeah. throughout. It was, it was yeah. all throughout. Like it would stop for a few. It would stop for a few minutes and then pick back up again yep. and then stop for a few minutes. Yep. So Fran wants to know what about the missing rocks. We don't know. What about them? Because we don't know where they went. See, I, I knew what rocks they were because whenever I was rock clacking, I chipped a piece off. Yeah. And that seems to happen every time I rock yeah. clack because I usually chip a piece off. So that's how I know those are the rocks that I use. Yeah. And it was right. I put them right underneath the pine tree that we went yeah. under. And then I was going to come back because I was going to put in my backpack because I didn't want to carry those things all the way all down. All the way through. All yeah. the way through. Now, me being just skeptical and just throwing it out there. Is there a possibility that he may have overlooked it and maybe not exactly put him in the thought he in, in the spot he thought he did? Yes, but he, he's he's a hunter and he's you know and he just when they when you put things down you kind of have a photographic memory of where yeah, you put it down because when you shoot that arrow you, you you tend to to look where the arrow you follow the arrow with your eyes and you tend to look where it went so when you go to look for it you know exactly where you got to go yeah. so. I, I don't they just disappeared they weren't there and they were I don't know eight nine inches long four like, five inches they, wide I, I, they yeah. had handles on them yeah that's how big they were it was it was I mean they were just gone yeah hey over there you know what a weird thing happened to on scouting is I had an energy drink yeah and it was I had to put it down on the path so that we could go look at a structure this was during the day by during the way. the day and I put it directly on the path. And the dog and myself and Justin and John were up on the hill. And there was an embankment, like a steep embankment that you had to go up. But we were up there about 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, when we came back down and we did have, well, there was knocking and one whoop that came from I never, out there. I never heard any of it. I, we heard the whoop. Justin and I heard it. Um but John was kind of over to the right, so he I don't know if it was and plus, directed. And plus Circa was moving yeah, around, Yeah, that's right. Yeah. She was crunching leaves. And when noise happens, I just can't hear it. Yeah. I just can't. My ears are too hypersensitive, so. So 
we go back down and I'm going to get my energy drink and I find the can laying on its side perfectly. It's just laying on its side with the, um, you know, the little hole that where you drink that was facing down at the ground directly and there was nothing in it. Okay. No big deal. Right. It got knocked over. It could have got knocked over. By what? The dog. She was up there with us. Well, the whole she, time when you guys were going down she got over there before you but i'm just I, yeah i'm that's just true. being me i'm just being me that's true okay so that's what i thought okay that's not a big deal but then i went to look because when you're doing this you are more aware of things i went to find the puddle of the even if the dog had knocked it over it would have flowed out of the... Yeah, but it would have seeped into the ground also. Yes, but there would be that mark where it seeped into the ground. And, and it would have been wet. Yeah, yeah it was not. Yeah. It was, was kind it of was strange. Not. It was bone dry. It was dry. bone dry, and there was no energy drink anywhere. It was just gone. And plus, those the, the bangs are so sweet. You would yes. have been able to smell it, too. Yeah, you would have. Super sweet. Okay. And there were no... There was nothing. Like, <laughs> there was nothing yeah. there. It was just gone. Yeah. So what happened? I don't know. I don't know. Have no clue. But it a bear it was wouldn't weird. have gone away fast enough. No, and then it would have co- probably dented those cans, or yeah, it would have crushed. It, it would have yeah. dented the it, can because I, with my experience with bears and what they do, if they're gonna if, they're, if it's in a container, yeah, they're gonna rip it open. No, it's either they're gonna rip it open or they're gonna jump on top of it. Yeah, and sque- and to squeeze it out. To squeeze it out. Either way, it was whatever did it did it so perfectly. It yeah. left no trace yeah. of anything behind. Mm-hmm. So. You know, I don't know. That was weird. We had a lot of weird experiences, but it was fun. And these guys did great on their um, their initiation into cryptid oh, yeah. hunting or cryptid investigating. They did really great, Definitely. and um, they were put through the paces because that was one heck of a. Can, can we go walk. again tonight? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, tonight's paranormal well, night. Tonight's my turn. Thank God. Paranormal. <laughs> <laughs> right. Literally, right. there was right. one. There right. was there right. was one part to where. Mindy sitting on Mindy Jesus. I've been thinking about that chicken work. <laughs> oh boy, Sydney. Uh, Sydney said, "I think I smell urine." And Jonathan goes, "I think you're smelling me because I just pissed myself." That's what he said. <laughs> and then I said, "I pulled a John." He said, I pulled, "Pulled a John." John. <laughs> so yeah, there's it, it's it's fun too. Another do. No, and I never pissed myself. It's just another. <laughs> he pooped himself like no, we said earlier. No, no, they're just that doing that the to be smart. You definitely asses. pooped your pants. Don't lie to See? us. <laughs> don't don't. No, I never pooped. We my talked pants. about it. It was a moist fart. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so I All think right, one of my my last do is when you're going out here with a crew, with mm-hmm. your group, your people, make sure it's people you trust. Yeah, you got to trust your crew. And always work together. And always watch your dogs. And I mean, what I mean, what I mean is I watch everybody and how they act. Right. Because you're going to know something's up. Yeah. Well, work as a group, definitely. Yeah. Um. It's it it's key because I definitely let you all know. I, I well, you, either you guys saw me or you heard me. Yes, when talk. I was up front. Yeah, I mean, don't look. Blah, 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 blah. But I mean, you know, communicate, communicate while you're out there. And, Communication is key. And don't be by yourself. Nope. So, those are our do's and don'ts. And we have one more. Do not whistle. Yep. <laughs> yep. See, we went over Leave that. Leave that to the stone giant. That's right. Then you know we. Then you know we. <laughs> Got anything else? I mean, I, I think you guys have a, a job to do, don't you? Yeah. Got to go back up old Uncle Ricky. Good old Uncle Ricky. I know. Oh, food. And by the way, Justin, I'm going to heat your dinner up. It's in the microwave. <gasps> no, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, everybody. guys, we'll talk to you soon. Just remember. Absence of proof is not proof of absence. All right. Everybody have a good night.